Hello, my name's Ian McCall and this is another video in the Dermoscopy Made Simple series. Today we're going to look at basal cell skin cancer. Initially I was just going to look at non-pigmented BCCs but uh, it's difficult to do that so I'm going to combine a bit of pigmented BCC as well although we'll have a separate talk on pigmented BCCs. Let's look then at our conventional BCC. They're probably the commonest tumors that uh, you're going to see on the uh, on the skin and this is the commonest variety that you're going to see the superficial basal cell skin cancer. Now your clinical differential of this is an SCC inside you and I, I must admit I have difficulty sometimes distinguishing just at uh, sight whether something's a superficial BCC or uh, an SCC inside you. A little edge here, a pearly edge, certainly helps you to diagnose a superficial BCC. But it's so much easier just to slip a dermatoscope on. Because when you slip a dermatoscope on a superficial BCC, you'll see these serpentine vessels. They may branch as well, but they're generally serpentine. Um, some of them may be in focus, some may not in a lesion like this. If you were looking at an SCC in situ, then what you'd see then would be dot or glomerular vessels. They would look totally different from this. So, a dermatoscope is very helpful in looking at a superficial BCC with these serpentine vessels here. What other types of BCCs are there? Well, there's also cystic BCCs. You can see this one clinically on the side of this gentleman's uh, nose. And here, what you tend to see is, is usually the white colored fluid within, presenting as an off-white color like this, or some white clods. But again, you'll see these serpentine vessels that will often course over the whole surface of the, of the lesion. This is the background sebaceous uh, surface of the, of the nose. This is the cystic BCC here. Sometimes uh, some cystic BCCs have a bluish color to the fluid. I'm not quite sure why. Sometimes you're not quite sure whether something's a BCC or whether it might be a dermal nevus. And there again the dermatoscope can be very helpful. If you look and you see serpentine branching vessels like this, then you can be certain that it's a small uh, cystic or solid basal cell skin cancer. There's a little white clod in there, probably small milieu. If this had been a dermal nevus, then you would have seen curved vessels, curved like a C, rather than serpentine and branched vessels like this. So it's useful in distinguishing a dermal nevus from a small cystic BCC. There are other types of BCCs though, and this is one that uh, is a difficult one. It really presents just as a white scar-like area on the, on the cheek or elsewhere, and you might think it's a little bit of vitiligo, um, you might think it's an old scar, even a patch of morphia. But in fact, it's what we call a morphic BCC, scar-like BCC. And again, though, when you put your dermatoscope on it, what helps a bit here are these serpentine vessels coursing over the surface of this. Now, admittedly, you've got a fair bit of background telangiectasia, sun-damaged telangiectasia in this gentleman's face. Um, but you've still got some of these vessels coursing across. Now, I'm not saying that every uh, morphic BCC will show this, but often it's this that can help you in uh, distinguishing it from some scar or early vitiligo. So a morphic BCC, again serpentine branched vessels. And they're in focus. That's the other thing about the superficial vessels of BCC. They are sharply in focus. Often the other vessels that you were seeing, if we just go back to that the ones in the background here, they're not as focused. See how they're out of focus here? Whereas the ones that go over the BCC sharply in focus. 
Now, there's a lesion here, slight bluish tinge to this one. Then when we look at it, we'll just ignore this. When you look at this, you can see that you have a blue clod here. And within it, you've got some white clods. And again, you have these linear vessels branched or serpentine vessels coursing across the, uh, the lesion. So these blue clods, white clods, serpentine vessels are basal cell skin cancer. Then we progress a little bit more. This is a lesion on the anterior chest wall. This is a close-up of it here. You can see the various, the various parts of it, bluish bit here, reddish bit here. When you put your dermatoscope on it, though, you get these various features. Let's make it just a touch bigger. Here we go. Now, the reddish area was because of ulceration and hemorrhage. A lot of BCCs break down and ulcerate early, as against melanomas, which don't do that. Here, you have some of your serpentine vessels. Here's some blue clods. Here's some other blue clods. Here are some blue-gray dots. Some more serpentine vessels. And often you'll have this sort of browny, often structureless area associated with BCCs. Um, and brown structureless peripheral is another feature of uh, basal cell skin cancers. So this one shows most of the classic features that you're going to see dermatoscopically. But some are a little bit unusual. Now, I want to go on and show a structure that's important. This was the clinical here. There's a bit of scarring in here. I don't know if there's been treatment to this before. It's not obviously a BCC. You put your dermatoscope on it, and you see these brownish clods here. But I've pointed to this structure just here. Let me just move along here. And you can see we've enlarged that portion there. We've enlarged it here. And these lines, peripheral, coming in and meeting at a point are the old, uh, uh, well, which is what was used to be known as spoke wheels, but lines radial peripheral meeting at a point are a feature of basal cell skin cancers and a very important distinguishing feature. Now, admittedly, that's not uh, a terribly obvious one, but if you look back even within this, you'll get the impression that some others are starting to, to show that feature. But let's look at it in a bit more detail in another one. Here we go. There's your clinical lesion here. And when you look at the dermatoscopic view, then you'll get these lines here meeting at a point. And this is within. It's not peripheral here. This is within the lesion. Now you've still got your blue clods here. You've got your brown structureless peripheral. And in here, you've got some fine serpentine vessels. Let's just put that up just a little bit, see if we can show it a bit better. There we go. Well, this is to show what used to be called spoke wheeling, but lines radial meeting at a point. Similarly here. Now, this feature is highly uh, specific for basal cell skin cancers, often the, obviously the uh, pigmented type, but some more than others. And I think it's best shown in this last one uh, that I'm going to show you here. Here's a pigmented lesion on someone's back. Superficially, it looks like a, uh, a melanoma. Multiple colors, a bit of pink here as well. But you put your dermatoscope on it, and then you start to see these lines, radial peripheral, meeting at a point. Um, and that tells you straight away that this is a basal cell skin cancer. You do not see this phenomenon in melanoma as well. You've got your gray dots here, some brown brown to pink structureless areas here as well. So here a BCC that clinically looks like a melanoma, but the lines radial peripheral meeting at a point give it away for the BCC that it actually is. So just remember that picture there. It's highly characteristic of BCCs. 
Now, of course, you'll often get BCCs in association with other lesions. Um, and the other lesion that's obviously very common is a seborrheic keratosis. Here's your SEBK here. Here's your basal cell skin cancer next to it. These are the points we're just showing here. Now, this isn't quite so obvious as a, as a BCC. It's probably more obvious clinically uh, here than it is necessarily dermatoscopically. Here you've got your brown and yellow clods of a seborrheic keratosis. And adjacent to it is your basal cell. There's a blue clod there plus some brown structureless areas. Um, there are some serpentine vessels in there. And you've got, the, as I say, brown structureless peripheral here as well. So BCC in combination with a seborrheic keratosis. Of course, other things, we've mentioned vessels before, uh, saying how specific they are for BCC. Well, serpentine vessels that are branched like this um, are reasonably specific for basal cell skin cancer. They're the only sort of vessel that's seen in BCC that is, in fact, um, uh, got a high sensitivity of diagnosing basal cell skin cancer. Any skin tumor that enlarges and thickens uh, after a time will have vessels like this coursing over the surface. So you've just got to watch that, that some Merkel cell and even some SCCs, if they grow rapidly, will get this type of vessel growing over the surface. But here you've got your blue clods, little black clod from a hemorrhage corresponding to these areas here, but lovely vessels branch serpentine. So sometimes though, the vessels are a bit funny. Firm papule in the ear, but look at the vessel pattern here. Now this image is from the scans blog courtesy of Dr. Peter Bone. Um, but they're certainly, they're partly looped I suppose, but um, I mean they're almost like four leaf clovers, although we're not supposed to use morpho uh, morphological terms like that, or metaphorical terms I should say. So you can sometimes get unusual patterns in BCCs as well. And occasionally you can even get hairpin vessels or looped vessels, but that, that's only in a very small percentage, and looped vessels usually mean keratinizing lesions. This was just another example <coughs> of um, some unusual vessels. This was a clinical lesion here. Here it's here, adjacent to this big seborrheic keratosis. And then when you look along at the vessels, look at this uh, conglomeration of uh, vessels going in all directions. You've got the white structureless material of the BCC here. You've got your adjacent seborrheic keratosis. So vessels, uh, linear serpentine branch can be useful. Let's end up, though, just with the histology of BCC. This would be a nodular um, BCC with uh, quite a bit of BCC budding off from the basal layer of the epidermis here. In a superficial BCC, you'd often have a bud there with a clear area, another bud, clear area. So you have skip areas with that. With a morphic BCC, you'd have strands of cells in amongst collagen in the dermis. Now this could well be a pigmented solid BCC because of the pigment here within the BCC cells. But uh, as I say, the histology does vary between the, var the, the various types. This peripheral palisading of cells, you know, this sort of lining up here around the outside of the, the buds. Um, this is another classic feature of basal cell skin cancer when you see it. So. That's a sort of quick romp through BCCs. Remember lines lateral peripheral meeting at a point. Remember branching uh, vessels, serpentine vessels, blue clods, and uh, remember the morphological types, the superficial, the cystic, and the morphic BCC. Thank you very much.